हेलो फ्रेंड्स एज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट रूब्रिक्स रूब्रिक्स आर स्कोरिंग टूल्स दैट कैन बी यूज टू असेस ए वेराइटी ऑफ वर्क प्रोडक्ट इंक्लूडिंग एसेस प्रोजेक्ट प्रेजेंटेशन एंड परफॉर्मेंसेस दे कैन बी यूज टू प्रोवाइड फीडबैक टू स्टूडेंट टू हेल्प टीचर ग्रेड असाइनमेंट एंड टू इंश्योर दैट ऑल स्टूडेंट आर हेल्थ टू द सेम स्टैंडर्ड देर आर मेनी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ रियो ब्रिक्स बट दे ऑल शेयर सम कॉमन फीचर्स फर्स्ट रियो ब्रिक्स टिपिकली इंक्लूड ए सेट ऑफ क्राइटेरिया और स्टैंडर्ड दैट विल बी यूज टू असेस द वर्क प्रोडक्ट सेकेंड रियो ब्रिक्स provide descriptions of different levels of performance for each criteria this allows teachers to provide specific feedback to students about their work rubrics can be used in a variety of contexts in the classroom they can be used to assess students learning in a variety of subjects rubrics can be used in the workplace also to assess employee performance and they can be used in other settings such as the arts to assess the quality of work here are some examples of rubrics in different contexts in education a rubric could be used to assess a student's essay the criteria for the rubric might include things like organization grammar and content the levels of performance might be excellent good fair and poor a rubric could also be used to assess a student's project the criteria for the rubric might include things like creativity research and presentation the levels of performance might be outstanding good fair and poor a rubric could also be used to assess a student's presentation the criteria for the rubric might include things like clarity organization and delivery the level of performance might be excellent good fair and poor rubrics can be used at workplace for example a rubric could be used to assess an employee's performance the criteria for the rubric might include things like quality of work productivity and teamwork the levels of performance might be exceeds expectations meets expectations needs improvement and unsatisfactory second example of workplace is a rubric could also be used to assess an employee's customer service skills the criteria for the rubric might include things like friendliness helplessness and accuracy the levels of performance might be excellent good fair and poor rubrics can also be used in arts for example a rubrics could be used to assess the quality of a piece of art the criteria for the rubrics might include things like composition color and technique the levels of performance might be excellent good fair and poor a rubric could also be used to assess the performance of an actor the criteria for the rubric might include things like stage presence voice projection and emotional range the level of performance might be excellent good fair and poor rubrics are a valuable tool for assessing a variety of work products they can be used to provide feedback to students to help teachers grade assignments and to ensure that all students are held to the same standards benefits of using rubrics there are many benefits to using rubrics here are a few of the most important rubrics can help to ensure that all students are held to the same standard rubrics can provide specific feedback to students about their work rubrics can help students to improve their work rubrics can help teachers time when grading assignments now how we can create a rubric creating a rubric is not difficult here are a few steps to follow number 1 identify the criteria 
that you will use to assess the work product create descriptions of different levels of performance for each criterion decide how much weight each criterion will have in the overall assessment finalize the rubric and share it with students friends let me show you an example how we can create rubrics i have created a rubric to assess collaborative learning games this rubric focuses on six categories problem solving time management focus on the task contributions cooperative work and creativity each category has a rating scale from excellent 4 to extremely poor 0 the first category is problem solving this measures how well students actively look for and suggest solutions to problems in a group if all the students in the group actively suggest and refine solutions they would receive an excellent means 4 rating if most of the students are willing to try out solutions but do not contribute ideas they would receive an average 2 rating moving on to the time management which evaluates how well students use time throughout the project if students routinely use time well and do not require the group to adjust deadlines they would receive an excellent 4 rating if students rarely meet deadlines and the group needs to adjust responsibilities they would receive a poor means one rating the focus on the task category assesses students ability to stay focused and remain on task if all students consistently stay focused and require minimal reminders they would receive an excellent four rating if students rarely focus on the task and let others do the work they would receive a poor one rating contributions measure the quality of ideas and participation from each student if students routinely provide useful ideas and actively participate they would receive an excellent four rating if they rarely contribute or refuse to participate they would receive a poor rating means one rating cooperative work evaluates how well the group functions as a team and distributes work if all the group members contribute significant amounts of quality work they would receive an excellent four rating if only one or two students contribute and the others do not work well together they would receive a poor means one rating finally the creativity category measures the thought put into making the game interesting and fun to play if the group demonstrates a lot of thought and creativity in the games elements they would receive an excellent four rating if little or no thought is given to making the game interesting they would receive an extremely poor means zero rating and that concludes our rubric explanation based on collaborative learning game examples now what are the various tips for using rubrics here are a few tips for using rubrics make sure that the criteria are clear and concise use examples to illustrate the different levels of performance give students time to review the rubrics before they begin working on the assignment use the rubrics to provide feedback to students about their work so friends rubrics are a valuable tool for assessing a variety of work products they can be used to provide feedback to students to help teachers grade assignments and to ensure that all students are held to the same standards we hope this example that i have given to you in between has given you a better understanding of how rubrics work remember rubrics are valuable tool for evaluating performance and providing constructive feedback thank you